Hey guys, I'm back. This is Raider Tology Part 3. This is the matchup I have the most to say about because it's a matchup I am most disappointed by. Number 3, Tennessee. Number 14, Wright State. Tennessee, I thought, was the giant to be beat. I thought they were the most beatable team who was going to be in the top, you know, 16 t seeds or one through four area, who did everything you want in a in a giant who's able to be beat by the giant killers, for lack of a better term. And so I was watching very much to see what matchup that they got. And somehow the committee blessed them with right state. Tennessee gives up a lot of rebounds. They're not great at shooting. They just seem like a team who is waiting to be upset. And I think if they were on the four seed, they would. But they got the three seed because they ran through deep into the championship game of the SEC. And were able to... They, they got beat by Kentucky, but it kind of inflated their resume. By doing that, and they, you know, they got two wins against Kentucky. They beat, they beat them two out of three times. But Tennessee isn't exactly the best team. You know, they, they may only give up, you know, 66 po points a game. You know, that's good for 30th. They, but they only scored, you know, 74. They want to keep the game in the low 70s. Which is pretty much what you want. If you're a giant killer, because you don't want to have to be throwing up 80, 90 points, and you want, and traditionally you want a team who hits a lot, of, who doesn't hit a lot of threes, and so it just seemed like this was the team who was going, who could get knocked off if they got a South Dakota State, if this, if this Georgia State right state flipped, that would have been it. That would have been the upset, bracket buster, you know, avoided. But then the committee gave them a diamond out of the lump of coal called Wright State. Now me being from Chicago, I pay attention to UIC Flames basketball. So I watch as much Horizon League and pay as much attention as, as I can. It may not be the most talented league, but it's always one of the more fun and least predictable, especially since Butler left. Because now there are no bullies in the Horizon League. There were four teams I thought had a very good chance at winning it. Northern Kentucky, Wright State, Oakland, and UIC. Because you had this almost four-way tie at the top. Before the tournament started, going into like two games left in the regular season. <clears throat> but the entire tournament kind of flipped on its head as and went upset City. And Wright State was kind of the only one of those top four teams left who ended up playing a very bad Cleveland State team. In the tournament, Wright State played. As, as the 2 seed, they played the 7 seed, the 6 seed, and the 8 seed. Wright State is probably the lowest scoring team in this tournament at 71 points per game. Good for 225th nationally. They're 221st in 3 point percentage. 200th or worse in all but 4 shooting categories. And they're the team who gets the most beatable giant out there. And I don't know how that happened. It is a blessing for Tennessee that they got Wright State and not, say, a South Dakota State where Mike Dom would just go off on them. So...
I'm going to say score um, Tennessee 70, Wright State 60. Uh, Wright State's offensive deficiencies show up late. You know, uh, Tennessee hits a, hits a few free throws, ices the game. And that's a wrap. Tennessee, even though they're the most beatable giant, I I think in the entire tournament, you know, seeds one through four. Tennessee moves on to the round of 32. Until we go to Arizona and Buffalo, I'll see you next time.